This is a little bit of a serious topic. Um, I'm, uh, there's a guy that I was working with who's now serving a nine-year sentence for uh, a sex offense in federal prison. And I'm essentially blogging for him. I'm transmitting things that he has written to me into my blog so that people can get some idea of what it's like for him to be doing time, what he's gone through, and how things are in the prison for him. And he's in a, in a low security prison, so he doesn't have it too bad, but he's, but he's an interesting guy, he's a smart guy, and he's been able to sort of make lemonade out of the situation that he's faced with. He, he's recently gotten some books from Sex Addicts Anonymous. He's working with his chaplain and trying to set up a 12-step program for some of the inmates who, inmates who are willing to to participate in it. And um, so what I thought I'd like to do is read you just a little bit of one of his um, letters, just so you can hear it in his own words. The pressure on those people here with sex offense is huge. Many are terrorized, not physically, but emotionally. At this facility, unlike most prisons, there aren't many people getting, there aren't many people getting beat up or killed. But let's say Sandusky goes to a medium security or higher prison. If he doesn't, quote, check in, which means to check yourself into protective custody, then he's a dead man. No question about it. Prison can be equivalent to a death sentence for a child molester. By the way, PC is solitary confinement. And to endure that for your whole bid is a very hard reality. So, you know, it's a very grim picture uh, for someone who really needs treatment. Uh, and most of the people who are uh, child uh, uh, molesters or sex offenders in prison are not getting much in the way of treatment. And um, here's a person who's really trying to do something about that. So I think that's really impressive. And I think it's really promising and hopeful. So I hope that, you know, we can get that message out there.